What is up, guys? Welcome to the finale of my Tin Can Brothers Solve It Squad reaction. I I really don't know what to expect. Like, I still think that Camille or Camille is the is like the killer, like the demonic thing. Oh, I forget the name of the killer. Anyway, I think that she is going to be uh, the nefarious one. Give Brian Rosenthal that moment in this moment to shine, being the overall villain. But Gwen is my wild card. Like Gwen was just torn to shreds, metaphorically, by Joey Richter's character in that amazing moment uh, while they were all around uh, the table. So I, I don't know. Like, is that gonna drive? Like, what is that gonna make Gwen do? Like, she seems like too too smart and too strong of a person to just let that just kind of like destroy her. Just be like, oh, I'm sad now for the whole rest of this thing. So I think that that's actually going to motivate her. But to do what? To do good? To do evil? Is she going to start killing everybody? I don't know. It would not surprise me one bit. Ever since uh, Edgar Allan Poe's murder mystery shipwreck thing, I just every time I see... Ashley Clements. I'm like, ooh, she's probably a murderer. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this with me. Thank you so much for voting in the poll. Uh, expect the new one up on YouTube here uh, probably in just a couple of days and we can get right to whatever you guys want to see next. Uh, but yeah, thanks again and let's go ahead and get into it. Knock, knock, housekeeping. Just kidding, it's me, Keith, the love of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, Keith. Gwen, you have to understand, after you left back there, I defended the shit out of your honor. So I think, like, a kiss is in store. No, time. Keith, I am packing and I am leaving. It was a terrible idea to come back oh, here. Oh, come on. You you're just going back to your husband and your shitty piece of shit kids? Hey, I love my kids. <laughs> no, you don't. You would have never agreed to see me if you loved your kids. Okay, my kids suck. <laughs> you know, we were kids once. You remember? Yeah, literally everyone was a kid once. Mm. <laughs> there was so much we didn't know back then. There is still so much you don't know. You ever think we'd be here all these years later in this haunted honeymoon suite and still going steady? Oh, Keith. <laughs> oh? Hidden passageway? A revolving? Kiss, awesome. you're gonna kiss. I can't see anything, but do you feel that? The floor is covered in something sticky. Oh my god, do you think it's juice? Can <laughs> the employees make peeping on me? No, 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 oh my no, Gwen, god. Gwen, it's, it's blood. Oh, thank god. Oh you get that no. Oh, this is my uh, prototype Solve It Squad flashlight. Pretty nifty, huh? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Work for me, baby. Oh, Can we please, with any sense of consistency. Hold on, Gwen. This is really important. Oh no! <gasps> oh, son of a bitch! Keith? The guy at Alibaba just screwed me. Keith? Yes, Gwen. Oh, I'm sacrificing myself for you. Okay, I'm sacrificing myself <laughs> because I love you. This is just to, to, to tell people what happened here today. Don't forget me, Gwen. No! Oh my God. <laughs> Not Keith, man! Oh no! And and you! <laughs> you haven't had my back this entire time! I'm oh god, he never if stopped. I have to hang out with these clowns again and avenge my best friend Klubert's death, at least Esther will be there. But no! You just keep stirring the pot, making me look like a dumb idiot! Listen! Just because you have trapped yourself in some backward semblance of a life because you forgot what it's like to enjoy yourself doesn't mean that I can't enjoy myself. What? We weren't talking about me. Don't turn this around on me. We are talking about how I am probably the only one who can cared enough about Kluber to take this whole thing seriously. Rex! I'm gonna be straight with you. Wait, where are you? Come here. <laughs> Come here. Oh. <laughs> Listen! There was one lesson to be learned from Klubert's death, and you never learned it. Chaos! Oh, jeez. That's all this is! Just give me a break. Listen to me, you <laughs> uppity bastard! There's no point in planning, no point in taking yourself so seriously, because in the end, it's all gonna go the way those three riders in the sky decide! 
and we can't control that. So you might as well just sit back, let loose, and have some fun for Jake's sake. <laughs> but Kluber is dead. He has been for years, and it was terrible. We were kids. We shouldn't have seen that shit. And you needed your space. I get that. You lost your friend. But you abandoned three others in the process. And that's on no one but you. Ow. Sorry. My depth perception's kind of off. I'm getting used to these glasses. <laughs> no, I'm the one who should be sorry. The demonic apostle! We saw him! Really? Where? In a secret passage for peeping toms. It was <laughs> Wait, what happened to Keith? It took him! <laughs> I mean, he tried to play it off like it was a sacrifice, but I don't think he had a chance. I think he was taken. Okay, okay. Well, regardless of whether or not Keith is a hero or a coward. Oh, wait. I mean, you're putting that up for debate? Like, it's not totally oh, obvious. One, he's one of them. I mean, absolutely. We've always known it. It's yeah. always been true. But, regardless of all that, Poor Keith. he's still our friend. And we need to get him back. The only way we know how. I've got a plan. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, Scrags, I don't know. Come on, Scrags. Oh! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Gwen, that way. Esther, that way. Let's get Keith. <laughs> Live action Scooby Doo. I, I took a wrong turn or something. God, I love this so much. <laughs> you know, I should have put this together when I first saw all the doors. Like this, this is in every Scooby Doo episode. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's trip him! Okay, noted, Gwen. <laughs> All right, everybody. It's payback time. Wait, Scraggs. What is happening? It's like my brain is activated. Esther? Uh-oh. Oh, God. Here come the neurons. Here we go! <laughs> As I first mentioned in the bar before any else I might add I knew from the moment Gwen produced that fake knife that we were dealing with a copycat criminal if my addled brain serves me correctly which it always does the demonic <laughs> apostle from our youth prided himself on using real sacrificial relics of the occult he would have never used a prop knife in lieu of a real one not to mention the cheap quality and clear watermark made in China on the handle of the instrument was a dead giveaway <laughs> that these were produced and distributed en masse from some global shipping company but that could have been a red herring, right? Wrong. Because simultaneously, we found our second clue. The solvent squad tanked up from the gym. It was soaked with the culprit's sweat, and judging from the lifting bench under which it was crammed, the wearer had recently been working out. Specifically, the biceps, no more than 60 pounds, judging from the weights they left on the machine. Hmm, very curious. <laughs> Seems like our culprit's a lot weaker than we've been led to believe. Which le leads me to our suspects. The staff of the Mayberry Gardens Motel and Spa. Now, the old valet Marvin couldn't have done it. He's behind in his dialysis without healthy kidneys. One of the energy to lift weights. He's not attempting to hide behind strength. Now, Cole the bellhop wouldn't have been able to keep his fat trap closed if he was the killer. So for a while, I thought all signs pointed to Camille. The motive was clear. Maybe she was trying to scare people away so she foreclosed on the property to cut her chance on her She's behind her body. <laughs> she misidentified the shape of the blood symbol and type of blood used in the sauna. Furthermore, I could absolutely see her snatching Keith away from Gwen after that full-blown flirt fest they've been putting on. You bitch! Esther, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we're going to have to wrap this up because I'm almost out of battery. Oh my god, you guys are freaking jinking all over the place here. All right, but there is still one glimpse Glaring indication that Camille was innocent. When I licked and sniffed that bloody towel from the sauna, I was able to quickly identify through genetic and hormonal anomalies that that blood was not that of a pig, but of a bird. Not to mention she called a hexagram a pentagram. Maybe we just chalk it up to her being a complete dumbass or something.
Permutation of dinosaurs, except the species of bird that was used on the symbol, a seagull. Now, where would Camille have found a seagull when she's thousands of miles from the nearest beach? Beach? Wait. Which leads me to the real culprit. No. Keith Swanson. And I would have gotten away with it. Son of a bitch. For this beautiful group of people. <laughs> yeah. Gwen, why are you not filming this? This is the climax. What the actual fuck, Keith? Oh. <laughs> okay. But, but, but no, we were supposed to catch Kluber's real killer. Keith, are you telling me that well, you- I killed Klubert's killer months ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, okay, yeah, 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 right, right, right. Uh, well, I was back in Mayberry visiting my mom, and I was going to her birthday dinner, getting a little high on the car, and he just sort of ran out in front of the van, and I uh, killed him. Oh. Accidental manslaughter, not a big deal. Besides, he was jaywalking, so two crimes at the same time kind of cancel each other out. <laughs> that's, 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 that's not how that works, Keith. You get a ticket for jaywalking, you get put away for life for manslaughter. Eh, tomato, tomato. Anyway, <laughs> so he was laying there dying and bleeding out in my arms, and he told me everything, how he was Klubert's real killer, how he'd done the whole thing to run his brother's hotel out of business. It does not matter. And then he died, and then I put him in my stepdad's yard. But then, wow. if, if I bring the demonic apostle out of retirement, not only will it super help the Etsy merch sales of my story, but it will also <laughs> be a great reason to get the gang back together. How much fun? What are we having? God, that makes so much sense. So he's dead. Why didn't you just call us? He knew we never would have come if we didn't think it was a real mystery. I mean, I wouldn't have. The ball's on this one. I don't know whether to kiss you or slap you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so relieved that the demon isn't real, but... You almost ran me out of business with your stupid stunt! Wait, wait, one thing still doesn't make sense. Gwen, you said you saw the demonic apostle snatch Keith, so he wasn't working alone. Actually, I kind of sacrificed myself up. <laughs> no, that's right, Scraggs. The demonic apostle came out of the darkness and dragged Keith away while he screamed like a little girl. Sacrifice myself at the gates of hell is how I remember it. He clearly <laughs> had a double by the name of Ricky. What? You have no proof. The second hood is sticking out of your pocket. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what am I even paying you for? You get paid, and you always complain about tips the most, you dick. But my intentions were pure. <laughs> Beth, come in here. I wasn't cheating on you. I was working a second job so I could give you this. <laughs> oh, <Ricky. laughs> I wasn't cheating on you, Stephanie. I love you. And Cole is a lying bastard. Will you make me the happiest concierge in Mayberry? <laughs> I do. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey. God, Keith's oh, face. Hey. <laughs> <coughs> wow. That was so much stranger than a TV show. Uh, still reeling from that old sensation, huh? Yeah. And God, it's like my brain just had the biggest orgasm imaginable. And for as fucking jacked on knowledge as I am right now, I can't figure it out. I mean, I keep myself on a pretty heavy cocktail of narcotics to keep my intelligence at bay. I've even perfected the dose, so that never happens. Well, it looks like this way of life has dulled your senses too much. When you were drunk at the bar, I replaced your stash with placebos. Oh! Like a real friend. <laughs> Looks like you'll just have to start solving mysteries again to keep the feeling going. Oh, no. You sneaky bastard. Seriously, where's the rest of my stash that shit ain't cheap? <laughs> hey, I, what? you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't think Keith understands the meaning of shame. <laughs> well, 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 okay, listen, babe. Yeah, sure. I faked the whole mystery. And sure... I led you guys all on a wild goose chase. And sure, I put the, the safety of everyone here at risk just to live out my own selfish fantasies because I was tired of being a has-been living on Venice Beach. But then most <laughs> of all, okay, I, I, I did it for Scraggs. <laughs> what? Yeah. 
I mean, I figured the only way to really get closure on this would be to end it for Klubert. And that's not easy for me to say. I mean, you guys might not know this, but I fucking hated that dog. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh, oh, no. He's always just like so like... Um, like Better like, at you than solving mysteries, even though you're a human and he's a dog. <laughs> Yeah, that. But then also, like, so... Funny and just made quips, like, all day, every day. They were, like, really forced, if you remember <laughs> anything. No, 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 okay, not that. It was just, like, so... He was loved by us all, no matter what. <laughs> uh, yeah, that. Um, and I was jealous. I just wanted to be part of the group. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. It's funny. I, I always thought I was kind of the outsider. Me too, actually. Guys, I'm gonna cry. Me too. Seriously. <laughs> oh, come on, Gwen. You were so popular. Oh, like popular people don't have feelings? <laughs> Man, it's weird. It's like none of us felt like we were part of the thing that brought us together. And even weirder, we didn't realize it until we were apart. Well, as team leader, I propose a do-over. I say we get the squad back together. I mean, maybe Keith has a point, you know? It's, uh, this is just way more fun than I've ever had on set. Yeah, we do Aww. work pretty well together. Even though I do most of the work. <laughs> Reunite the Solvit squad? <laughs> well, I guess I can afford to pivot my career a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Actually, we can't call it the Solvit squad because someone else took the Twitter handle a long time. It's a whole thing. <laughs> yeah, we're a brand, yeah? <laughs> The Busted Band? Klubert's Conundrum Crew. The Puzzle Posse. <laughs> and then the Van Decal. The Rick. Posse Wagon, Gwen. <laughs> the Posse this Wagon. Is oh my god. god. <laughs> we always have them, and we always will be the Solve It Squad. God. The Solve It Squad. Back in biz. The Solve It Squad. Made my brain just jizz. Reunited, back on the horse, back in the van, on the wagon, of course. Oh man, Kluber would love this. Yeah. But it's better without him. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> I know, but we did it in the beginning. <laughs> Fuck, <Fuck>, whatever. Kluber <laughs> had to die to remind us who we are. We are the Solvent Squad. One more time, loud and proud. Who are we, the Solvent Squad? Keith! Frank! Scratch! Esther! Good! Better! Yes! Esther! Who are we, the Solvent Squad? Wow. Rapturous applause is the perfect response to seeing this. Bluebird! Wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh, man. You know, I remember thinking during the last part, too, you can choose to believe this or not. I have no reason to lie here, but I remember thinking, like, it is very possible that it is fucking uh, Keith. Like, and then when he got kidnapped, it was just like, again, in Poe, where, like, the first person to, like, die, the person that it couldn't possibly be ends up being the person oh my god this was literally the best episode of scooby-doo that i have ever seen <laughs> so it's like everything has got or like most bits of media have comic relief like that one character that's just there just to bring levity into the situation but having literally everybody that's on stage right now being so funny to be able to pick one person out of that to be the comic relief, they have got to be just flawless. They've got to be so good. And he was. Oh my God, Keith, I 
that actor, I am so impressed. And then having him be the villain at the end because he was so good. I mean, probably not because of that, but oh my god. That, I need to see him in more stuff. If anybody else has any other things other than Wayward Guide, which I've already seen, uh, please let me know what else that actor has done because he is a talent. He is so talented. And his comedic timing is literally second to none. Oh, man. And then Esther, too, having her big neurons firing moment there, solving everything at the end. We all knew it was coming ever since we saw it at the beginning, but that was so fun. And then having her wear those old, super-duper old glasses that just happened to be in Keith's van that they never got rid of. Well, he never got rid of. That's actually probably one of the reasons why he was never really able to give it up. I mean, you look out there and you ride around in the Solvent Squad van every day. It's going to be on your mind. Uh, it's going to be front and center on your mind. Uh, and then obviously, like Joey and Ashley. Joey, I, I he had actually a decent amount of like, uh, you know, character development through it when he started out when we first saw like adult Joey or adult Scraggs, he was really like squeaky voiced teenager, like, and this was when he was in the FBI, uh, kind of like the ticket taker in Black Friday. And then throughout this mission in particular, I don't know if he, he got more confident, but he almost just seemed happier. And then the being, you know, the, the confidence being like a byproduct of that not working with the fbi alone but working with his friends working with his best friends the solvent squad that they hadn't seen in years in 20 years and then ashley forget about it i will love ashley in anything that she is in and she just plays like the bitch so well so well especially at the end when they unmask keith like what the actual fuck keith Oh man, I I can't wait for Ashley Clements to get like her really big break. Uh, maybe she has actually. I don't know. I should probably look her up on IMDb and see if she's done any like TV shows or movies. Or if you guys know, let me know. You'll save me a step. Uh, <laughs> um, but like Keith had, uh, I mean he shouldn't have done it, but he had like a noble ish reason for doing this like he wanted to get the entire gang back together which i get i understand and then you know he really didn't want to give scraggs the uh closure for uh klubert's death which i mean he could have just told him i guess uh but i can't be mad at keith i loved keith like as far as i'm concerned anything that that guy did was for the greater good even almost driving the hotel out of business and costing brian rosenthal like eight jobs uh, <laughs> it's really no harm no foul in my mind keith is fine uh, <laughs> and it still ended on like a really nice happy ending like lessons were learned just like in scooby-doo like this was literally adult scooby-doo not like adult scooby-doo but you know scooby-doo for grown-ups <laughs> it's actually making me want to go back and rewatch some old scooby-doo episodes it's, it must be at least 20 some odd years since i've seen scooby-doo oh man and for being such a small cast too only five people absolutely incredible i'm sure just a flurry of stuff going on behind the scenes but for such a small cast and the writing team only being Corey, brian and joey and apparently doing it a month before they filmed this it's just it's it's inspiring more than anything else like if you got a good idea and you've got that framework, those, you know, friends to help you. Everybody needs talented friends that you can, you know, that support system that you can really accomplish anything. That's probably not the, the moral of the story, but that's what I'm getting from just how great this was. So, yeah, thank you again so much to everybody that voted for this in the poll. Uh, if there are any other just amazing Star Kid tin can shipwrecked things that I have not seen, please put them down in the comments because I essentially have to see everything.
Uh, and I will eventually watch the Lizzie Bennet Diaries, but I really have to read Pride and Prejudice first. At least I think that I do. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much. Look for the new poll coming out very soon. And I will see you all in a reaction very soon. Thank you.